Okay, I'm going to run you through uh, about IP sniffing. I've got a tool here called Ether Detect Packet Sniffer. Just set that on run. Uh, Alright, let's give it a go. <clears throat> I'm going to type in here google.co.uk uh, and go there. The, um, the tool we downloaded should show us that a website has been visited. Um, as you can see there, it says www.google.co.uk. So it's picked up that somebody on the network has gone to the website. Uh, let's search for something. Uh, ninjas, let's go for that. Okay, so here are our search results. So the packet sniffer should have picked up that the search has been done for ninjas at google.co.uk. Not sure if you can tell from the resolution, uh, but it has picked it up here. It says ninjas right here. Uh, and then Google search next to it. Okay, uh, it's picked up a few other things here. Uh, I'm not really too sure what they do. I haven't used the software for that long. Um, but as you can see, it's returned a few results, along with like you know some IP addresses in the times that they were visited and things like that. Um, okay, let's click on a search result and have a look there. This looks like a bit of a <laughs> strange website. Um, but let's have a look at the uh, sniffer, and we can see that, um, well, I don't know if you can see it, but it says www.re, uh, which is what the website begins with that we went to. Uh, I'm trying to make it larger, it doesn't seem to work like that. But as we can see here, it says uh, www.realultimatepower.net, which is the website that uh, we visited. So, uh, as you can see, the sniffer is picking up all the results uh, and websites that we go to, which, you know, you can imagine could present a uh, security risk uh, running on a network. Um, and that concludes this video.